It is time to bring in our entertainment reporter, Morgan Hoffman, who joins us now first in the morning with entertainment. And we mentioned this yesterday on the show. It was actually, we were learning of it right at the end of the mm -hmm. show. We mentioned uh, about Phil Donahue's passing. Well, more tributes are coming in. Oh, absolutely. Of course, legendary daytime talk show host uh, passed away at the age of 88 uh, after a long illness. He was surrounded by his friends and family and his, his golden retriever, Charlie. But you are hearing uh, iconic daytime talk show hosts reaching out, sending their condolences, including over Oprah, of course, uh, who said there wouldn't have been an Oprah show without Phil Donahue being the first to prove that daytime talk and women watching should be taken seriously. He was a pioneer. Uh, you're hearing from Sally, Jesse Raphael, Montel Williams, Pierce Morgan. Andy Cohen said this, which I loved, revolutionized daytime television. And when you think of his show, it ran from 1967 uh, to 1996. Uh, he was the first daytime talk show to allow guests to ask or the audience to audience, yeah. ask guest questions. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, that's just like what I think of when I think of daytime talk yeah, show. We were reminiscing about that yesterday, that how Phil would uh, just roam the audience with <laughs> microphone in hand. <laughs> like, and it always like seemed like it was the right? eighth person in the row that had a question. <laughs> right, right, and he leaned. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Emmys, yeah. I mean, what a pioneer. So to, to, to know that that's your legacy and to hear all these iconic people uh, send their condolences, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad, but 88 years old and, and what a lovely, mm. what a lovely just le uh, legacy. Yeah, a legend, a legend. That's it. Sure. All right, uh, I want to talk about uh, Jenna Ortega yeah. this morning because she's been on the press tour for uh, Beetlejuice and she's making some news. Okay, so she's so cool. I actually just met her over the weekend. I interviewed the whole cast of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'll get to that in one second. But Jenna Ortega, she's been owning this press tour with her very uh, Beetlejuice-esque inspired outfits, including one that a lot of people are talking about. She recreated a look you can see right there. If you remember the original film from 1988, Winona Ryder there playing Lydia Dietz, she did well in school. So at the very end, she gets to dance up in the air uh, to the song Jump in the Line. And so you can see Jenna there has completely recreated that look, which is fun. Uh, and, and the whole press tour, she's been wearing like Beetlejuice-esque stripes and people just continue to comment, kind of like what we saw with Margot Robbie do with Barbie, mm -hmm. recreating all those looks. Uh, so yes, I got to interview the entire cast, which was pretty special. Catherine O'Hara and Jenna Ortega were actually together. Oh my gosh, there's me sitting there with one of the shrunken heads. I think that one, I think his name was Jeff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some of them were like Bob, Mike. Um, there's me wearing uh, official Beetlejuice uh, clothing and attire. They have a whole line out, which is so exciting. And they recreated an entire floor of this hotel room to make it look like the afterlife. Wow, that's okay. making me dizzy. No, it was so cool. I have to tell you, in real life, it didn't look so dizzy, but but um, yeah, when I watched back my footage, I was like, wow, they did well with that carpet. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just so much excitement about this sequel to the mm -hmm. original film. You know, people love Jenna Ortega from Wednesday, which was a Tim Burton uh, project. Now Tim Burton's back for this new movie. So we will have interviews on the show very soon. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Can't it was Can't really wait. exciting. Um, and then Taylor Swift. Yeah. We gotta talk about Taylor Swift. Um, this is this is uh, her backstage with uh, obviously fans of the show, but these are two survivors of the Southport stabbing attack um, that happened last month. There they are there with their families. Uh, Taylor's mom was there. This has now gone viral. Uh, and if you aren't familiar, last month uh, there was a horrible attack on a dance class that was Taylor Swift themed. Uh, and unfortunately, two, uh, three people did die, which uh, we do know that Taylor Swift has privately reached out to those families. So she was able to bring these two survivors who are just having the time of their lives, uh, bringing some light into their life after everything they've gone through. Uh, and everyone's talking about it because this just makes us love Taylor Swift even more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. All right. Morgan, thank you for that update. Thanks. So All nice right, having you guys. Good to have you back from New York. Did I say having you guys? I meant being beside <laughs> you guys. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs>